Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the ANET ET4. Yesterday, we upgraded it to Marlin. A user asked me about the power loss resume, and I'm going to give it a test. So let's get cracking. All right, so once again, here we are in the menu. We're going to go to the configuration, and under configuration, we're going to go down to the power outage. So yesterday, it was off, and then I set it up like this where I point to on and then make sure you go down and store the settings when you go back then you'll see it says settings stored so now let's go to print and then I'm gonna move over here and print this tiny little lobster I want it because it goes fast once again start and check mark and we'll let it heat up and do its thing all right, friends, so this is pretty slick. Uh, you can see that it heated up. When we hit the icons, we can adjust them to whatever numbers you want. So you can adjust on the fly. We can adjust the temperatures, the bed, the fan. You can go into the speed and adjust it as well. All kinds of settings that are available to us as our sweet little lobster prints. All right, friends, so this is the adorable little lobster. This was created by one of my eighth grade students, so it's always fun for me to see it printing again. And right now it is time to test the power loss resume. You saw that we had it enabled. I'm running this off the SD card, which is typically the only place I've seen the power loss resume work. Let's hit the switch. And actually, I'm going to try and yank it. All right. So the power is gone, and now I'm going to adjust the camera so it's looking at the screen. And let's see what kind of info we get when the machine powers on. All right, here we go. Plugged back in. Do we get a power loss resume? <laughs> no, we don't. Which is fine. I'll pull that off, and it's a little bit of scrap plastic. We didn't waste much, and it was a good lesson. Let's dive back into the firmware and make sure I did have that setting enabled. Yes, you can see right there. Power outage is enabled, but it just did not function correctly, which is totally possible with this stuff. Alrighty friends, so I'm back in the lab area and this is the forum post where you can find the open source from ANET. Uh, make sure you sign in, you cannot download till you did, I just chose sign in with Google. These are the files that I showed you on the other video. If you haven't seen those videos, look up in the corner here, there will be links that you can click so you can watch the initial firmware install and you can watch the test of what all was in the menus. Down below is the magic link though, this is the actual Marlin firmware that you can download, open in Visual Studio Code, and customize to your heart's content. I'm not a super fan of that process. There's 2,000 lines of code, so I don't have a training video for it. I may make a training video for how to get in, but once again, when you start playing with these kind of things, you really need to know what you're doing with your printer so that you get the results that you want. All right, and the cool thing about this firmware right here is there are two forks of it. You've got the ANET version where they've approved what's done here, but then also the original user or one of the users that got this going was David Turan. I saw him on Facebook. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but oh my gosh, do we appreciate the work you did. You can switch to his fork by simply clicking this link, and then you've got a new version where just little things are changed. You can see there are updates all the time and this is how you can get the firmware and actually customize it to your heart's content. I do want to stress though you really need to know what you're doing if you're going to get the results that you expect. Alrighty friends so in conclusion at the moment the power loss resume does not work but because this video is out there maybe a net will figure out what it is they'll change it and then we'll have a new file we can do also we have got the opportunity to get in that firmware and try and figure out why it doesn't work as well that is the cool thing about open source is it's many many people coming together to try and make the printer do what it's supposed to of course friends if you've missed any of the other videos there will be a link above so you can track them down and there will also be stuff on the end screen friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you've got a question comment or suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day